day My mom and dad would say You're another year older Another year wiser But I still go to school Hey everybody How y'all doing okay So I'm actually filming this on Thursday It's going up on Tuesday like it's usual day I usually film it the day before but I'm going to take a break from filming Um filming takes a lot Like it may not take me like 8 hours But it do take some time So we're just going to jump straight into The girls part First and then um Yeah so I'm going to do I was going to do um Let me see what did I put down yeah, that's right. We're going to do Bad Girls Club 12, and then we're going to do Flavor of Love, and I'm going to talk about some other stuff in between, because I know when I do it at the end, y'all don't really get to that part, so let's just do it right now. But before I start talking about Bad Girls Club, I just want to talk about these fires. Like, can y'all stop being so dumb? I mean, like, it's kind of getting a little scary, you know, because... Here you are just living life like you got to get used to COVID, got used to COVID. And then one day you look up at the sky because I live where the fires, well not where the fires are bad, but where the fire smoke is coming over here. I mean, right now it just looks dark outside like it's about to rain or something like some rain would be needed like that would be um, very nice. You know, it'd also be very nice if people could be more considerate of others start stop starting fires and i i didn't even know that oregon because they're like right above me if y'all didn't know i live in cali are right above me and they got fires bad too like right now in some places of california it's like this this overcast filter that you don't even need like it's not a filter that's on your phone it looks like sapia all over the place or some different kind of yeah so we're going to go into Bad Girls Club. Now, one girl from this season did pass away. I'm going to get into that. But um, yeah, I don't know where to start. Uh, shoot. Do we start a show? Oh, All right. So we're going to start with Jada. Jada was the white hood girl. Um, I remember she got into a lot of fights. That's what I remember about her. And I did talk about her in last, um, the last fight scene loud, but it was more towards the end. And um, what else? Like she, she, her and Red would get into it a lot. Red was, I'm going to talk about Red next since it's so appropriate. Red was like, I just want to lay with you. <laughs> yeah. And then Red was the big girl. You know, she was obsessed. She was the lesbian of the house, I feel. Well, she wasn't the only one, but she was one of them. And she just wanted to lay with Jada. And she tried to beat up little, for little fry Jada. And it just, it didn't work out for her. So there is that. Now we're going to move on to the rest of the list. Um, I just talked about Jada and Red. <gasps> Sorry about Slim. Um, I don't even know why she was there. She looked like she belonged on America's Next Top Model. Because she was always talking about her modeling. So she didn't need to be there. Um, Britt, I loved when she laid out that Dahlia chick. Like, that was funny. And I think she's a mom now. Um, Blue, Jonica Blue. I remember seeing her on Real House of Potomac. Don't know why she was on there. She's on TikTok. I saw her. Um, I guess she's still a lesbian. And, yeah. Um, Lindsay. Okay, so let's get into her. She is the first bad girl that died. The second one is Mimi from Season 8. I'll get into her then. But um, she was 22 and she died of health complications. I remember hearing about that. Like, and it was like after her season had like a year after. Like, that was so sad. Um, Lauren Low, I loved Lauren's. Um, they tried to put an X on her picture, but it turned out it was the producers. Like, the producers was up to a lot of crap. Asia just wanted to get in Jonica's pants and vice versa. That's what they did. Dahlia was an annoying girl and Raisha was Lauren's um, cousin. Now we're going to move on to Flavor of Love Season 1. I'm going to do all seasons. Um, maybe next fight scene allowed, I will do For the Lover of J2 so I get him out of the way. Or Real Chance of Love. Which I can't remember if I started or not. So we're going to go down the list, you know. 
so that's why oyster changed her name we'll get to that we're gonna go down so smoky um that girl looked lost shells did not really have no personality picasso she annoyed me because she was like oh i want flavor flav he reminds me of my daddy like what's wrong with you cherry oh. cherry this girl right here got mad at Goldie because she puked in the bucket full of chicken and champagne. And she was mad because Goldie got to stay and she didn't. Like, get over yourself. 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 Because you're showing your nipples and, and trying to do the most when you ain't sh Um, Rain Thaler Brown. Uh, now, I'm also going to talk about the girls from Charm School too. But I, what I will say about Rain right here. She seemed very angry, and I don't think Flavor Flav was into that anyway, so she had to go. Miss Latin, she had a, um, a boyfriend, well, she had this guy that she couldn't get over, her ex-boyfriend. She was like, if he would take me back, I would not be here, so I don't know why you came on the show in the first place. Um, Georgia, she seemed like a cool chick, but I just think Flav wasn't really into a normal type of girl. He wanted somebody that was a little crazy. Dimples, don't remember much about her. Apples, don't remember much about her. Serious, she was like, I'm a model. I'm a model. I'm a model. What, what, what? I'm a model. And she had one a date and went home. Like, yeah. Um, Peaches, she was the girl that was trying to sing. So, Weedy. And Sweetie said, Flav, you were toddy. You were toddy. And I'm going to take it back to where I came from. You were toddy. Like, what was rough with her? Like, I don't even know what happened to her. Red Oyster. So it says right here, she was originally known as Oyster, as I remember. And I'm also reviewing, I'm going to get back to reviewing Flavor of Love, because y'all suck at watching Catfish. Like, ever since Corona happened, y'all don't want to talk, watch Don't watch it. And, um, and Ghosted. Like, last year, Ghosted did so good. That's why I wanted to review it again. Last year, for the last two years, Catfish has done good. Even when it did bad, it only got like 200 views. Now it's like, what's the point? So I don't think I'm going to review those two shows right now. And I might review something else that's on right now. Maybe House of Pain and Assisted Living. Because they're both short and come on in within the same hour. Because like, they're 30 minutes short. So yeah. Hottie. I just saw Hottie like three four weeks ago on... Um, talk of love she said that she was actually playing a character she wasn't really like that you know like she was into the charity things and the fancy dressing but overall she do know how to make chicken like she knew that i did not have to go in the microwave so or maybe she didn't i can't remember but i think she said she learned how to cook and actually about hottie um shatar uh, she actually i liked my comment and responded back to me one time when i you know, cause I followed her on Instagram because you can't go by what people look like on their thing. Uh, Smiley was the stripper. Uh, she was like, I can't cry because I want to cry because do y'all make fun of me? And she was in fifth place and Flav had let her. Oh, Hottie had got let go because Flav had seen her on blind date. Like she was getting her acting money in, okay? And Smiley had got let go because... She was still in love with her ex-husband, Goldie. Um, she was funny, yes, but there wasn't really a connection between her and Flav. And she was also on Talk of Love, and she's starting her own YouTube channel interviewing people herself. So y'all might want to check that out when it comes out. Um, pumpkin. Pumpkin spit in New York's face. I will never, ever forgive her for that. Um, and then she was doing the same thing that Heidi was doing. But she was on these different shows and never said anything. New York. That girl will always have a place in my heart because she is such a badass. And even though she's out here, she don't have a man or anything. She's still doing the thing and she's still being a boss. That just proves to show you you don't need a man to be a boss. And then you have Hoops the winner. Um, she did like Flav, but I just think it wasn't going to really work out. So that is it for the shows. Now, maybe I need to start doing that in the beginning. But um, let's get into... Keeping up with the Kardashians. Now, I have a... How can I put this? I remember 
watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians. I've even started watching it over again on Hulu because all the seasons up to season 17 is on Hulu. I remember not liking Kim Kardashian because for a moment because she had broke up with her ex-husband and wasted all of her time watching that beautiful wedding. Um, um, the only one I would say I really don't like that well is Kendall because what's to her? She's just a model. Um, Courtney, she's got her posh thing. And I really think it is time for the show to end. Like, it's sad. But at the same time, I think it is time because you can already see what they're all doing on social media. Because you can see Kylie with her daughter. You can see Kim with her two daughters and her two sons. You can see Chloe with her daughter. You can see Courtney with her two sons and her daughter. Like, and you can just basically see everything on there. I hear a rumor that Grey's Anatomy is ending. I've seen it around circling. So that would be great to see because I'm so tired of seeing that show. I tried watching it on on Netflix. Slow. <laughs> It really is like any of y'all who like Grey's Anatomy. How can you like it? It was just so freaking slow. But as I said in the beginning of the video, I'm looking for new shows to review. They could be on Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, or Amazon Prime. Put it down in the comments or DM me on Instagram if you want to. Also, thank y'all for getting me to 647 subscribers. It feels like every week I'm finally making some progress. I don't know what I'm doing, but I just wanted to say to you little, little, little subscribers who are just starting out. I've been in the game for five years. Not really in the spot that I actually wanted to be in, but I just wanted to say don't give up. Keep going. And uh, yeah, this Spicy Loud is a little on the shorter side, but yeah, that's it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.